So now we will see how we can print all the prime numbers in an interval in JavaScript. So guys, let us move to VS Code over here and simply inside the programs folder, we are going to create a new file in this case. So as you can see, we have this prime numbers interval.js file over here. Now guys, what we will do is simply, first of all, let us understand what are prime numbers. So over here, let me just provide the comment that is prime numbers in this case. And guys, all the negative numbers are not prime numbers. So that is first assumption. And then next, the number one is also not a prime number. And then we start from the number two over here. So basically, two is the only even number that is a prime number and all the other even numbers will be divisible by two and that is why they are not prime numbers so guys basically this is the definition of prime numbers in this case any number that is divisible by the other number will not be a prime number over here two multiplied by two will give us four and that is why it is not a prime number so we remove this four number from the list is five the prime number yes in this case because it cannot be divided by any other number in order to get the perfect remainder that is zero and then the even number six is not a prime number because once again it is divisible by two so we move to the number seven this is a prime number because we cannot divide it by any other number over here then after eight we have nine so is nine is a prime number no in this case because three multiplied by three will give us nine in this case so this is not a prime number so the next prime number will be 11 because it is not divisible by any other number and so on these are some of the prime numbers that we have which is not divisible by any other number so guys we need to print all these numbers within the interval so guys let us create a new function over here simply we will say is prime as the name of the function it is equal to and then simply what we can do is we can pass the parameter that is number over here which is going to be checked in which case we will check whether this number Number is a prime number or not so guys we provide the arrow function over here that is equal to and the greater than symbol followed by the function body in this case now guys if the number is less than one or equal to one then we need to return false over here because the negative numbers and the number one are not the prime numbers so guys over here we will check whether number is it less than one in this case or number is equal to one so guys in this case we can simply combine both these conditions into this one condition over here if the number is less than or equal to one then we need to return false this time so over here simply we will say return false so guys basically this is prime function is going to return either true or false based on whether this number is a prime number or not a prime number so this is the first condition that we have already checked now guys let us move to the next condition over here so simply we need to check whether this particular number is a prime number that is getting passed so guys let us say we have the number 11 that is getting passed over here so how do we check whether this number 11 is a prime number so we have to go through a for loop and check through all these numbers and then we need to multiply in which case we need to divide this number that is 11 by all these numbers one at a time and see whether the remainder is zero or not in any case if the remainder is zero that means it is not a prime number over here so what we will do is simply we will provide the for loop and then we will say let i it is equal to we will start with the number two in this case so simply we will say two followed by semicolon and then i is less than or equal to we need to provide a number divided by two over here so guys basically the idea in this case is we need to only go through all those numbers up to the half of that particular number that is half of 11 is 5.5 over here so we need to go to the integer that is 5 because after the number that is 5 that is 6 over here even if you multiply it by 2 the result will be greater than this particular number so we need to limit the iteration up to number divided by 2 this time and then followed by i plus plus in this case so guys basically this is the for loop that we will be using that is i will be going from 2 up to i is less than or equal to number divided by 2 and then what we have to do is simply we need to provide the if condition and then we will check whether this number is it exactly divisible by this iterator that is i over here so simply we will say if 
number percent i this time is it equal to zero which means when we divide both these numbers whether we are getting the remainder as the perfect zero or not and if we are getting the perfect zero as the remainder then it is not a prime number because this number will be divisible by the iterator that is i so once again we are going to return the false in this case but if the number is a prime number that means we are not going to get this particular expression is true anytime then what will happen is the interpreter will end this particular for loop after going through all those numbers that is 2 up to the number divided by 2 and then it will come out of the for loop over here and then simply what we can do is we can return the true statement over here which means none of these numbers were able to divide the number exactly and that is why we would say that the number that was provided to this is prime function is a prime number and we are returning the true statement over here so guys this is the function that will help us in order to understand whether the number that is provided is a prime number or not now guys let us provide the interval and then within that particular interval we are going to print all the prime numbers so guys over here let us say we have the first number that is the lower limit as 1 in this case so we simply provide 1 over here and then we provide the upper limit as well so after this we provide a comma and then we have the upper limit it is equal to 10 this time so guys what we have to do is we need to go through all these numbers using the for loop and then we need to call this function that is is prime over here and if it is returning true then we need to print that particular number and if it is returning false then it is not a prime number so guys over here we will simply provide the for loop and then we will provide let i it is equal to lower limit this time and then i will be less than or equal to upper limit in this case followed by i plus plus now guys if you see we are using the i variable in both the for loops but this particular i variable is having the local scope only within the is prime function and this i it is having the global scope over here so you don't have to worry about the interchanging of the values of the i variable in this case because both these variables are having their own scope this time and they are not going to affect each other so guys over here inside the for loop what we have to do is simply we need to call the is prime function by using this i iterator in this case so over here we will provide the if condition and then we will say is prime and then we need to pass the parameter that is i over here so every time the i value changes the is prime function will be called along with that parameter that is i over here and if it is a prime number that is i is a prime number then only we are going to print that yes the number is a prime number over here so simply we will say number that is i in this case so dollar symbol followed by open and close curly braces i is a prime number so guys this is a statement that we will be providing when we get true expression from this is prime function over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command followed by the name of the javascript file this time so guys when we press enter number 3 is a prime number then we have 5 and then 7 now guys let us change the upper limit and the lower limit this time so let us say we provide the lower limit as 11 and the upper limit as 50 over here so what are all the prime numbers that are present within this particular interval so when we save this file now and try running this code on the terminal so as you can see all the prime numbers are now getting displayed so we have 11 13 then why 50 15 is not a prime number because 5 multiplied by 3 will give us 15 over here so we have 17 19 23 29 and so on up to 47 we have all the prime numbers if you notice all these numbers are odd numbers because the even numbers can be divided by the number 2 and hence they won't be the prime number so guys over here all these numbers are the odd numbers but it is important to note that not all the odd numbers will be prime numbers so in the end if we see why 49 is not a prime number because 7 multiplied by 7 will give us 49 and that is why it is not included in this list even 45 is not included because 15 multiplied by 3 will give us 45 and that is why it is not a prime number so guys in this way you can get all the prime numbers within the interval that is provided as the lower limit and upper limit over here by using this for loop and the function that we have defined over here in order to check
okay whether the number is a prime number or not so guys it is very important that you practice on your own so that you get more clear understanding about this program and the other programs that you are going to practice so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about how to print the fibonacci sequence in javascript so stay tuned